Hi everyone, this is Dr. D uh, here on this snowy day in Virginia. Uh, just going to take a quick minute or two to show you the correct way to shovel to do your best to prevent back injury. Of course, if you feel something happen, right, you should stop right away, go inside, rest. Generally, put your feet up, bend your knees, put some ice on the area that's sore, and of course, call, call your chiropractor and get in right away. The sooner you get adjusted for any injuries, shoveling or slipping on the snow or ice, the better you're going to be. So most of us are going to shovel in our dominant hand. Like if you're right-handed like I am, this is how you're going to hold the shovel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shovel and we're going to toss. Shovel and toss. Now after a couple, a couple shovels, you want to switch to your less, do less dominant side. In other words, in my case, my left hand. And then you want to do the same thing. Shovel and toss. Shovel and toss. What this does is it balances the stress on your lumbar spine, especially the discs, because you have fibers that slant to the left, fibers in another layer slant to the right. If you're always shoveling to the right, you're going to have a tendency to rupture or tear those fibers. If you give the right fibers a rest by shoveling to the left, then you'll basically balance the effort. And of course, remember to take plenty of breaks if you're not used to this kind of work, and uh, drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated. If you have a big driveway, I don't really have a big driveway, but in this heavy snow, there's over a foot here, and it's wet, and it's definitely making me feel winded. So this is Dr. D signing off. Remember, uh, come in and get checked, even if you feel okay after you shoveled, because you're not used to it, and it did put your back out, and then you're going to sneeze, and your back will go all the pieces. So we'll see you next time.